I'm going to try to show you how to bleed the air from the fuel lines on a Yanmar 2GM diesel motor. Uh, and what had happened with mine was the, uh, <clears throat> the, the fuel had sat for too long and it didn't have any treatment in it so it, it grew algae and, and uh, if you smell it it has a really bad smell to it. It's got a really really strange stink to it. I can't, I can't really describe it but uh, you always want to make sure to put a bio treatment in there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's called but if you just ask, ask somebody at a you know a marine shop or something they'll, they'll, they'll know what to give you. So what had happened when I tried to fire this up is it ran good for about five minutes and then it just died so what I ended up doing was trying to pull a bunch of fuel lines and stuff like that because I, I don't really know what I'm doing so I ended up with a bunch of air in the fuel lines and after I pumped the bad fuel out of the tank the problem became trying to figure out how to 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 get the air from the fuel lines so that it would it would fire again um, so I got a simple solution and I think this is the, it's a pretty universal solution you know it should work for should work for any diesel motor and it's and it saved me a lot of time so hopefully this works out for you so we've got the fuel tank in the back there and you see right there The top one is the pressure return, <clears throat> the bottom one is the send, so then that follows this red hose up to the first filter. Uh, the first filter also has a water drain on the bottom in case you have moisture in your fuel. And then from there it goes down this line to the first, the first pump, which is right down there. And this first pump also has a, a primer lever on it, but don't even worry about that. That doesn't do shit. And then it comes up this solid line, follow this up to the second filter, and on this filter we have a uh, pressure relief screw, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So you want to loosen that when you're when you're bleeding it until you see fuel coming out and then you'll tighten it back down again. And then from there it goes to the high pressure pump which also has a bleeder screw. And then these two lines will go up to the injectors. Which are right here and right here. So I was trying all kinds of different stuff to try to get the air out of the lines. But this solved it right here this inline uh hand pump whatever you want to call it i think i paid 20 dollars for it pick one of those up this is going to make the entire process so much easier so this one i put this in and it goes in line from the tank to the first filter and what you'll do is you'll you'll crack this bleeder screw, pump it until all the air comes out of there, until there's no more bubbles, it's just fuel coming out of that screw, and then tighten it back down. And then do it again with the second bleeder screw, and then pop the nut loose. You don't have to take the nut all the way out, but just crack it, you know, and that applies for the, for the bleeder screws. Just crack it, do the same thing with this one, do the same thing with that one. And then once you once you get to that point, fire it up and you'll be good to go. But this is a lifesaver right here. That's the most important part.